Uh, I just got a package. I think this is my duck bill. I'm not sure though. <laughs> so that's why I decided to pull up the camera and start recording. But they sent it in this huge pot. But um, I'm gonna crack it open so This is the DAR uh, Texas Drifter duckbill for the 370. It's still wrapped, but um, this is supposedly the best uh, fitment that you're going to be able to get. I've heard to stay away from Fly One um, because they are really bad with fitment. Um, so they said this is the best one to get, or that's what I drew my conclusions with. Um, they, I did get the primer. Well, I think this is, yeah, this is primered. Um, so I got the unpainted version. I'll have to sand this and then I'll, we'll spray it. Uh, white. This thing is actually really heavy. Um, it comes with uh, your, I believe it's just part of the seal or whatever in order to seal the bottom whenever we put it together. It says no drill. But I don't understand because they sent it. It has bolts. What? Definitely bolt this on. Do not just use the tip, the tape, because you're gonna have a bad time. So, we went ahead and sanded this. I went ahead and threw some bondo on here, when for that to dry, uh, just because there's some really deep scratches, and we're just getting rid of those. Um, but we sanded this with 600 grit, uh, and then we'll just sand this down, and then it'll be ready. We're gonna hang it by that and this, and uh, we'll be able to shoot it. Are you making funny <laughs> And then you're doing something stupid in the back. Look at that crooked tail. All right, dudes. So here she is, getting ready to get shot. We cleaned her uh, with water and soap and wax and grease. Oh my God, this camera. And we used wax and grease remover. Um, and we also, uh, there's the madman himself. But, um, we're getting ready to shoot this sucker with his first base coat. Um, we're not shooting a seal this time, so it's only going to be, it's already gray, so we're going to go ahead and start shooting paint. We'll probably, we'll probably do like three coats of this, uh, or a tacky coat and two good solid coats before we move on to pearl. Uh, here's our pearl. Um, mix ratio is one to one with reducer. And uh, we'll probably be shooting two or three coats of this. Most likely three. Um, but let me open it for you guys. This is from the old pearl, from when we shot the bumper. Around Starting down. vlog two, same day. We're doing the duck bill, 10 millimeter to get the stock one out. And there is, oh shoot, is there cool? is two in here. Let One's me see uh, if I can get you. There you go. One, and then two is done here. Two. And then same over here. One, 
and two. Yeah, just make sure they don't get stuck in there. Uh, to remove the OEM, they're 10 millimeters, uh, and you need the barrel because uh, you can't get it with the regular one. Under you? No. Ah, we got it. All right. Hey, do it like that then. Just something. <laughs> We're gonna um, get a heat gun and heat it up, and then that way uh, we can melt that glue. Uh, 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 still left me to bail on fr on Saturday. Oh he left God. me bailing, dude. Come on. Okay, How'd you leave me bailing, coach? All right, so now we just gotta take off all the gunk, all the excess, in order to uh, install the other one. So just take all how dirty this is. Oh my gosh! All right, so this is easy, but all this is what needs to come off. Um, I got some goof off and some plastic scrapers to take us off. So here we go. We've been removing this for a while now. Just saw that gunk. Really, you can only see this and this, but you want to make sure you get some all as much as you can off. Um, and then he's gonna go ahead and start uh, applying the seal. That way, there's we don't have any water running through around the edges. All right, so uh, we got it. Tape, tape, tape. Double side, double side, double side. We had to layer it because of the with one single strip didn't reach, won't reach the actual car. So we double now. I'll put tape on top of tape. And then um, we're gonna bolt for now. We can only bolt this side because only these holes line up. I have to go home and drill two more holes at because these kind of end up over here. I have to drill two more holes and then um, uh, stick my screws through there, and then that should finish the process. But we went ahead and put the seal all the way around the front, um, and fitment's okay. So we're gonna heat it up and then put it on and then bolt, and then we should be done. What am I doing? What's the world? I literally just could have lifted the hatch oh my god am i gonna leave that in the video oh man that's what i did i did too much explaining at the end but um we were able to get these two mounted correctly and screwed but it, the holes here don't reach um they don't line up they don't line up so um so i can show you what i'm talking about Let's see there should be a hole there and on the other side. What I'm gonna end up doing is getting a drill with the drill bit, drilling the hole, obviously, uh, and then shooting the screw up there. Uh, and then tighten it down, because right now it's only being held by double-sided tape. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and screw that down later. There it is. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, of course, it looks super white because the Dugville's freshly shot and the car is super dirty, but once we get it cleaned, I'll take some pictures of it and I'll uh, let you guys see what it looked like. So, that's going to be it. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to head home because it's cold and uh, it's freezing. <laughs> that's what she looks like. Now, we'll get, definitely get this uh, to get some pictures and I'll get those up to you. Uh, and that way you can see it. If you guys want to see pictures or, or anything else, uh, you can follow me on Instagram and uh, we can get this done. Alright, later dudes.